I'm Chris from Web Motor Works. I just made this sign for Kelsey. It's kind of in the style of the old uh, tin signs you used to see on buildings and stuff. I mean, you can buy reproductions and you can get your name on it, Stinky's Garage or Dad's Garage or whatever. But, you know, I also did a, an old barrel um, this year, Western Oil. It's um, three colors, started with black, beat it with a chain, that type of thing. And I can show you how to do some patina. So, yeah, let's get started and uh, be a little fun project for you. So you're going to get your local sign shop to cut out your stencil for you. And they're going to, what they call, weed it. That takes all the, off all the stuff you don't need. And then they're going to put a backer on it so when you throw it in your truck, it doesn't stick to everything. And then when you get it home, you peel off the backer there. And then you stick it down on your painted uh, metal. I painted it white there. You give it a little squeegee and then you pull it off and then that leaves your stencil there so when you peel that off it's going to show white give it a shot of black shoot in the opposite direction also and then once she's dry start peeling everything off i usually use like a little blade to kind of pick away at it to pick all the little pieces off And then I just put a shot of clear coat on it and dropped it off at the Kelsey shop and it looks pretty good. So here's the barrel. Um, I painted it black and now I paint it red. This is a three part. Um, put the stencil on. Now we're going to paint that white. And we peel it all off. She's looking pretty good. Now I want to patina it. So I get some salt and we want acid which we use vinegar. You can use a stronger acid if you want. And then you use hydrogen peroxide and salt, and it actually works pretty good.